What's up everyone? Super stoked you're here for another video and I hope you're enjoying the past videos from the last few months living full time in my Bison Overland truck camper on my Jeep. As you guys know, Bison builds custom truck campers and each one is a lot different. Last time I was there in Oklahoma, just a few months ago, they were working on their first hard side camper and it's now done, it's for sale and it looks beautiful. So in this video, we're gonna jump to Oklahoma, check in with Drew, see how things are going at the shop, but mainly focus on their new hard side camper. The features, we'll talk about the weight, the price point, everything. Really excited to check this thing out. Let's have Drew show us the ropes. All right, so I just downloaded the video from Drew. All right, so let's hit play. So this is the first hard side we've done. We've been working on this, uh, the design and everything for it for uh, about a year or so, a little more than that. Um, so we're real excited about how it turned out and I uh, want to share it with you. This one is for sale. Uh, it fits a 12 foot by seven foot flatbed or subframe. Uh, it really needs some sort of torsion, sprung mount subframe. Uh, it's specifically built for a Globe Trekker RV subframe. Uh, it's ready to bolt up to that. We'll kind of go around and, and take a look at it. We start with our cradle. The cradle is aluminum. Uh, it's, it runs the full base. We've got supports on the bottom, everywhere. Corners reinforced. Panels drop in it. Uh, so it's just a good sturdy platform. Dang, Drew, that thing looks sweet. Uh, I'm excited to see more of the interior especially. But first, can you show us how these campers are actually mounted to the trucks? As you can see, uh, well, they're over there, but other campers we're doing, even, even our uh, big one out here that we might have to do a, uh, a video for uh, this Fuso is so set up that same. Got the uh, receiver mounts, two inch receiver mounts at each corner that allows the jacket jack bracket to slide in. Uh, it's very similar. You can see how we've got Dustin's garage camper on here. So this is aluminum, but this was our kind of first uh, trial of using these receivers. So we're using our two post lift, but you can see uh, the jacks would attach there. They slide in very rigid, works really well. Um, really happy with that. So that's, that's how all of our, our builds currently are built. Well, except for mine. Uh, I had to be difficult and do a totally custom flatbed that Bison then built my camper on top of. This is the only one that's done like this. The, the reason we did it was again to get the flat, uh, the floor from, it would have been about here, we got it down to about there. So we got about eight to 10 inches down on my floor. But I digress, my camper is a one-off. Anyways, let's get back to this hard side camper we're checking out and talk about how big it actually is. So like I said, we've got 12 foot footprint by seven foot this way. We've got about the standard 60 inch cab over. Uh, interior height on this one is about six foot five. Uh, and, and one of the big things we wanted to do with this one, you really see up front is keep a low center of gravity, just low clearance more than anything. Um, so it's, it's kind of tricky, you know, to, uh, to get the right interior space. Um, but we feel it's more important to, uh, keep, keep it low as possible. Uh, cause you know, you're, you're spending most of your time outside. Uh, this one's got, uh, extra window package where it's got the two on the front. We've got the three, 450 by 1100s in the back, all turn overland. Got a little bit about a foot angle back there. That's just because it's a 12 foot. If we're doing an eight foot or somewhere around there, it's gonna have the standard longer uh, departure angle. But uh, 12 foot, this is, this is what we worked with. Well, yeah, that totally makes sense to not have as big a departure angle because this is already a 12 foot bed. So the longer your departure angle, the more weight you're gonna put over uh, behind the rear axle and that's just gonna handle worse. So I think that's a good call, Drew. So we got the, uh, we got two turn cargo hatches on this side. These are the top hinge mount, go right up. And of course, here's, here's our big windows in the back. Quick little view on the inside for the shell. So it's ready to build out. 
Uh, if someone's interested, uh, we're more than willing to do a build out on it. Uh, this one's just uh, set up as a shell currently. So we've got our LED lighting. Uh, we've got two Max Air Deluxe roof fans, uh, vents in them. I believe these go both ways and have remotes on each of them. All right, so let's take a look on the inside. So again, turn overland, entry door, same as windows, cargo hatches. Uh, so here is the cab over area. We've got 60 inches by 81. Uh, great size for queen bed. Um, if you do build out or if you had us do one, uh, we could do cabinetry across here that could push the sleeping area out so you could do north-south sleeping. Uh, there's plenty of room there. I think we've got about, you could add about an extra 24 inches here. Uh, so that could be storage. We always do the water tank up there. You could even, the fridge could fit over here. There's a bunch of options. Okay, I love that you've thought about the option for north-south sleeping. Um, for two people or a couple sleeping in a camper, when they're both sleeping this way, one can get out this way, one can get out this way, come down and you know, make breakfast or do whatever in the cab over scenario. Of course, my camper is not a cab over. So we're really using our imaginations here, but that's okay. Um, but if you're sleeping east west, one, the person on this side is going to be kind of stuck in, uh, which is okay for some people. It, everyone's got their own preferences. But really cool to hear that this thing, you can sleep north south. You could set it up. I mean, it's so dang big. You could set it up to do just about anything, man. You could set up a mobile barber shop in the back of this thing or a freaking food truck or something. But so on that note, um, what kind of interior do you envision for this, Drew? So ideally, the good setup in here would be a dinette at the rear. Being a 12 foot, it could even be a U-shaped dinette, get a good space back there, it could turn into a good bed. Um, or you could do a bench across the back. And that's the nice thing about the shells is uh, you can set up, set them up however you want. But uh, the way the windows are set up, uh, it'd be a great, big, comfortable space back here. Uh, and then you still got room. Uh, like I said, you could put the fridge up here. I really like putting the fridge by the door so you can have it there, you can have it here. And then you got plenty of room for uh, the galley, kitchen area, everything. Wow. That's a lot of room in there. Uh, it's an open canvas and uh, it's ready to build out. So like I said, this one is uh, for sale. Um, it's ready to go. If somebody's wanting to build it out and just have the shell as their own, it's ready to pick up. You can pick it up tomorrow. Um, if you want to build out, we can do a build out. It's going to take a little more time uh, just because this is the first 12 foot and we'd have uh, some design time. These pieces are smaller, but I figured I'd show you. These are some pretty trick uh, bamboo pieces. Dustin's been busting on. Uh, so this interior is going in that bill for the Tacoma uh, for our buddy CD. And um, we'll have to do uh, we'll have to do like a walk around sometime because his Tacoma's out there and it's it's pretty sweet. It's gonna be similar to to our old rig there, but um, this is one of the interior pieces. I thought it'd be cool to show. Uh, so it's all full bamboo. We're not using any filler, cheaper wood anywhere else. Um, very well made CNC cut out. So we've got our big CNC. We've got a seven by twenty uh, coming probably next month. Uh, I think it arrives. Uh, for programming um, in a couple weeks or so, and then it'll get all set up and shipped to us. So, um, but this is a real cool example of what we can do for the interiors. Uh, a lot of the little door pieces and everything, basically everything is ready to go together. One thing about the bamboo is it doesn't come sealed. So uh, Dustin will seal it here soon before it goes in the camper. We were pretty happy uh, with the weight where it came in. Uh, came in right about 1310 as it sits and um, comparison uh, this camper as a shell before Dustin did the interior out I think it came in at around uh, 1200 or so so we're very very close in same weight uh, he's a little higher now he's got the interior built out but uh, we're pretty happy with uh, being at 1300 pounds for this um, so due to the size, if, if it wasn't as long, it could sit on a three quarter ton, but the, the size of it really needs to go on a one ton or even bigger 5,500. Uh, this is set up for 5,500. 
uh, cabin chassis. Um, but it could work with the 350 as well if you had a cabin chassis that had the, uh, the length for it. Wow, 1,300 pounds, that's really light. That means like whatever truck this is on, because it is a 12 foot bed, it needs to be on a big truck like Drew was saying. So chances I think are pretty good. If you do a smart interior build out that's light enough, you could actually be under the gross vehicle weight rating uh, of the vehicle, which is always the goal. But how much does this thing cost? Regular pricing on this one starts at 34,000. Uh, we've got some upgrades, so I mentioned. Uh, we got upgraded windows, upgraded fans, uh, the cargo hatches. Um, I think there's a few other things. So this one with tax, we've got it priced at, it's right at about 44,000. Um, no wait, so lead times right now, if you were to order this, uh, we're looking good 12 month lead time. So this one's ready to go. Um, same pricing as if you ordered one. So you're just, you're saving, uh, you're saving the time and uh, getting ready to go. Uh, if you want to get it built out, I would say, depending on how complex the build is, we would probably be looking at uh, sometime after the first of the year, it could be good to go. Uh, but you could also pick it up, use it like this through the winter and bring it back. Or uh, a great thing we can do is we can do a DIY flat pack kit. So, um, designed everything to fit it perfectly and basically everything comes together or sorry comes to you just flat packed on a pallet ready to assemble so uh just be a bunch of these loose pieces but you've got all of the uh joinery in there ready to go so over a weekend you could have the whole interior together all right well phil i appreciate you sharing this with everybody uh, we need to get, get you back here and we can do some walk arounds in person, but, uh, this is a great way to, to share what we got going, show what we got for sale. And, uh, thanks for following, uh, all of, all of, uh, Bison's work through Phil's page. We'll have plenty more to, to keep sharing with you. And if you're interested in this camper, hit us up, uh, bisonoverland.com or our Instagram Bison Overland or Facebook. All right. We'll see you guys. Of course, Drew, it's been really fun getting to know you, doing some videos and collaborating. Um, and again, thank you for building me such an awesome camper. Been loving living out of my Bison Overland camper on my Jeep. Uh, this camper that we just did a video on has a ton more space and would be so ideal for full-time living. Um, someday I am excited to have a hard side, bigger camper that can provide more comfort, interior bathroom, shower, you know, get real bougie with it. But for now, I am so stoked that Bison has built me pretty much the smallest camper they've ever built. One of the smallest campers ever built that has all the comfort for me and allows me to go anywhere I wanna go without thinking twice. So I love my camper. I love this camper. I love campers. So make sure you're subscribed to the Down to Mob channel. I love doing video walkthroughs and showing you guys unique campers as well as the people who drive them and the lifestyles they live. So comment, let me know what you think. Hit the like, all the stuff. I think I've proven that Bison Overland campers are down to mob. We'll keep proving it though. Really the question is, are you down to mob a Bison Overland camper? You. <laughs>